Since Outlander was adapted for television and premiered in 2014, it has become a pop culture phenomenon. It seamlessly weaves historical fiction with a beautiful romance and 18th century war tour in Scotland as the backdrop adds to the romanticism perfectly. Add to that combination action sequences that rival Game of Thrones, and it was bound to draw in a huge crowd. With Sam Hewen in the role of our heroic Jamie Fraser and Katrina Balfe in the role of our gorgeous heroine, Claire Randall, the sparks immediately flew on screen and viewers were eternally sucked into the ups and downs of the soon-to-be lovebirds. As much as we adore Jamie and Claire and their undeniable chemistry and love for one another, there are still things about their relationship that do not completely make sense. Whether it's the fact Jamie easily accepted Claire's time-traveling background or that they each are too stubborn for their own good yet still make it work, there's plenty to dive into in regards to their illogical missteps in their relationship. For all of you fellow Jamie and Claire fans who may have missed some of their quirks, here's a list of 25 things that don't make sense about Jamie and Claire's relationship. 25. Jamie falling in love with Claire so quickly. Their love story may be one for the ages, but Jamie and Claire shouldn't make sense in actuality. She's British, not to mention from a different century, while he's a Scot in the midst of the Jacobite rebellion against the British. In spite of all of that, they still fell in love. He told Claire in Season 1, Episode 12 Lolly Brock, when exactly he fell in love with her. I wanted you from the first moment I saw you but I loved you when you wept in my arms that first night at Locke. Now I wake up every day and find that I love you more than the day before," Jamie declared to his beloved. But with so much going against them, shouldn't it have taken a bit longer for him to warm up to Claire, let alone fall in love with her? 24. Claire leaving behind her first husband so easily. Okay. Maybe not easily but it did seem as though she was able to move on from who she thought she was going to spend the rest of her life with to Jamie alarmingly fast. Of course, Jamie and Claire are soulmates, but Claire typically looks at things more realistically. So it's hard to wrap your head around why she was not only okay with leaving Frank, and her time, for Jamie, but once she made that decision, why she didn't seem to mourn her past relationship hardly at all. 23. Jamie and Claire's stubborn natures never ruining their relationship. There is no denying that the two have sizzling chemistry, but regardless of that factor in their marriage, one would think that the fact they are both relentlessly stubborn would get in the way of their love for one another. You could always argue that their love is true and can defy all odds, as we have seen occur many times throughout the show and read in the books. But in real relationships, two people who are perpetually stubborn typically have a hard time navigating the ups and downs they experience together. Especially in a marriage. Yet somehow, they have made it in spite of that trait they share. 22. Claire forgiving Jamie for punishing her. Jamie is the ultimate swoon-worthy hero of the Outlander universe. But even he has his faults. That was showcased in the season 1 episode. The reckoning after Jamie saves Claire from the clutches of Black Jack Randall. She had been captured after running away to try to go back through the stones to her own time. Jamie was unaware of her reasoning, though, and decided to punish Claire for her actions that nearly got himself and the other Scotsmen attacked. Since Claire is such a strong, level-headed woman, it's hard to imagine that she would forgive Jamie for his actions afterward even if that was what he was taught to do when he was younger and realized he had made a mistake. Luckily for us, and Jamie, she did forgive him and he never harmed her again, but in reality, we're not so sure she would have. 21. Jamie Believing Claire's Time Traveling Story The whole premise of Outlander is that while Claire is visiting Scotland with her then-husband Frank in 1946, she falls through time and ends up in 18th century Scotland. That's where she meets Jamie. So when Claire decided to divulge her secret to her new husband, Jamie Fraser, he takes it all very well. He has questions, of course, but doesn't ever seem to have a moment where he thinks she is a complete lunatic. Love conquers all, sure, but shouldn't have Jamie been a bit more in disbelief when Claire told him the truth about her time-traveling adventure? It should have been a harder pill to swallow. 20. Jamie always being able to get Claire out of trouble. 
Claire has a mind of her own and is never ready to back down from a fight, be it verbal or otherwise. Those are great qualities in a woman, to be sure, but when you're in a foreign country and a foreign time, you need to learn quickly their ways and their culture to survive. The thing is, Claire never seemed to get that memo. But even when she would be speaking out of turn to very important men, Jamie would always manage to get her out of the situation relatively unscathed. You would think at some point her actions would catch up to her and Jamie wouldn't always be able to charm those who wished to harm her. 19. Claire Urging Jamie to Forgive Larry Larry was the thorn in the sides of Jamie and Claire and their budding romance. Fans loved to hate her, and for good reason. See, Larry felt she was in love with Jamie because of a brief fling he had with her before Claire. This caused her to accuse Claire of being a witch that resulted in Claire enduring a witch trial where her life was nearly ended. But when Leary sees the pair in season 2, she asks for forgiveness from Claire. Claire does come around eventually and even urges Jamie to forgive her, which he does begrudgingly. But why would Claire even try to forgive somehow who threatened her countless times? 18. Jamie easily talks Myrtle into believing Claire's story, too. Murtaugh is the fan-favorite supporting character on the show. He's lovable, protective, and fiercely loyal to the Frasers. So it is easy to see why he's so loved amongst fans. But something he did in Season 2 threw us for a loop. Jamie ends up explaining to Murtaugh while they are in France that Claire is a time traveler, and tells him the entire story. Murtaugh, much like Jamie, readily believes it after asking a few basic questions. While it's admirable that he's so loyal to the two that he would believe such an outlandish story, it's also a head-scratcher as to why he believes Claire's story so quickly in the first place. 17. Claire never made sure that Jamie was actually gone. One of the hardest things to accept about Claire was the fact she never went back in time to make sure Jamie perished at Culloden. It took her 20 years in historical confirmation to actually take a risk and go back in time to find her beloved Jamie. While it made sense to wait for Brianna to be born before trying to find her one true love, it was not believable that Claire would sit idly by for two decades instead of going back to find her husband. If nothing else, she could have confirmed that Jamie met his demise and said goodbye to his family before returning to her own time. But her actions just didn't seem like the Claire we knew. 16. Jamie choosing to fight in Culloden when he knew the outcome. In the season 2 finale, Jamie sends Claire and their unborn child back through the stones just before the Battle of Culloden. He was fully aware that the Jacobites would be losing this battle but still decided to stay and fight with his fellow Scots. But even if he was unable to go through the stones as well, why didn't he try to find a different way for Claire to stay and possibly escape together? We know that Jamie is an honorable man, but his love for Claire typically outweighed his love for Scotland. So why didn't he flee with Claire and their child? 15. Claire going back to Frank, after their experiences with Black Jack Randall. Claire's first husband, Frank, had an ancestor who fought in the British Army in the 18th century. Claire became very acquainted with him during her time with Jamie, and it was none other than Black Jack Randall. Jack Randall put both Jamie and Claire through so many intense experiences, that it's hard to understand how Claire was able to go back through the stones to save herself and her child, only to return to a man whose face would trigger post-traumatic stress. 14. Jamie's Modern Thinking on Relationships in 18th Century Scotland Part of why Jamie Fraser is such a catch for many women who watch the show or read the books is the fact he not only loves Claire so deeply and purely but that he also looks at their relationship as though they are complete equals. That is the best way to approach a relationship, of course, but in 18th century Scotland, a man like Jamie typically wouldn't be thinking in such a way. Men were the alphas, so to speak, and the women were meant to be dutiful wives and mothers who rarely spoke their mind. So while it's wonderful that Claire seemed to bring out this modern side of Jamie, it's also very unlikely that this would have been her reality. 13. They are always living lavish lives during their travels. Beginning with season 2 during their time in France, Jamie and Claire were immediately thrust into the lavish lifestyle of the Parisian elite. Apparently, 
Jamie's uncle had many connections so while staying in his home while he was away, they acclimated themselves to this new lifestyle. But regardless of where they seem to be, they always end up living lavishly. In season 3, while in Jamaica at the governor's ball, they also were treated as though they were a part of high society. Even in the latest season, while building a life in the West, they are invited to important events with important individuals. It's remarkable how they manage to always live that lifestyle no matter what situation they find themselves in. 12. The Frasers, especially Claire, are always running into Galus. Galus was both a friend and a foe to Claire and Jamie throughout the first three seasons. But as a fellow time traveler, Claire always seemed to be drawn to her, until she found out about her nefarious ways. But how is it that after thinking Galus burned at the stake in season 1 for being a witch, that she not only ran into her when she was back in her own time in the 60s but also ran into her again in the 18th century in Jamaica? It seems a little coincidental that Claire, as well as Jamie, would always be stumbling upon another time traveler, especially one that they are well acquainted with. 11. Jamie doesn't ask Claire about the future until she brings it up. Once Jamie found out about how Claire ended up in Scotland, and in his time, you would think he would have a million questions regarding her and what life is like 200 years in the future. But unless Claire brings something specific up about modern day, he doesn't ever seem to have questions about life 200 years from now. Even when he does it's just to help with a current problem that has arisen, so why is he not immensely more curious about life in the future? 10. Their decisions don't always alter the future. Outlander may not be focused on only the time travel aspect or how there should be a butterfly effect because of it, but there is a lot that is odd about how they deal with actions and consequences. See, the butterfly effect basically means that one small change will cause an enormous consequence somewhere down the line. But when Claire goes back to her own time, Nothing has changed about the world and nothing changes about how she lives her day-to-day -day life. So why were there no long-term effects of her time traveling? 9. They can't change history for the better. This connects to the fact there seems to be no butterfly effect happening in the Outlander universe. There are several times Jamie and Claire attempt to change history for the better, but every time they do, it seems like things either become much worse or nothing changes at all. All throughout Season 2, the pair are trying to find a way to stop the Battle of Culloden to not only save Jamie but all of the Mackenzie clan and all of the other Scotsmen who will surely perish in this battle. Yet, no matter what they do, they can't stop it. With all of their efforts put forth, how is that even possible? 8. They rarely talk about those they lost at Culloden. Once Jamie and Claire reunite in Season 3, there is plenty to catch up on after two decades apart. But after that point in time, they rarely speak about the friends and family they lost at the Battle of Culloden. There was Angus that they lost in a different battle just before Culloden, and then Rupert perished as well at the infamous battle. Plus, Jamie and Claire had to end Dougal's life to save themselves before the battle had begun. Not to mention the many other Scots they had come to know in preparation for this battle. So why don't they touch upon that more often? 7. Jamie marrying Leary after what she did to Claire. After the epic reunion between Jamie and Claire in season 3, it is revealed not long after that Jamie had been married briefly during their separation. And he wasn't married to just anyone, but to Claire's enemy, Leary. It was explained that he was simply lonely and she had seemed to change since they last saw her, so after encouragement from his sister, he married her. It didn't last long, but it was still a punch to the gut for Claire, who had been through the ringer because of that woman. Why on earth would Jamie think it was okay to marry her, even if Claire was no longer in his time? 6. Claire is able to leave their daughter, Brianna, for Jamie. The whole point of Claire returning to her time was to protect Brianna and give her a proper life. But when Claire realizes Jamie is alive and well in the 18th century, she wastes no time going back through the stones to find him. Even though Brianna is now an adult, this shouldn't mean Claire is okay leaving her only daughter behind for the man she loves. It seemed like the two of them felt they would never see each other again once Claire left, 
so it doesn't make a lot of sense with Claire being a great mother that she would so easily leave her child behind. They could have at least planned for Claire to come back at some point to visit, or vice versa. 5. They have barely aged I in 20 years. Obviously, we know that Outlander is a television show and therefore they aren't going to make their two main stars look tremendously older. It would probably take away from their steamier scenes as well as the passion that is always simmering beneath the surface between the two. Even so, Jamie and Claire have been apart for 20 years, and in that time, should have aged quite a bit. But all we saw was Claire with a streak of grey hair and Jamie with slight wrinkles and glasses. It's simply hard to believe that they would both not only be in perfect shape still but look like they've barely aged since they saw each other last. 4. Claire never asks about Willie's mother. During their two decades apart, Jamie had fathered an illegitimate son with another woman. They had one night together that resulted in her pregnancy, and though Jamie helped raise him for the first part of Willie's life, Willie never knew Jamie was his father. Willie's mother also passed during childbirth. But even though Jamie made Claire aware that he had another child, Claire never asked many questions at all about the child's mother even after they had been reunited for quite a while. With Claire's inquisitive nature, it doesn't make a lot of sense why she didn't seem to be the least bit curious. 3. They were able to rekindle their romance after 20 years. Jamie and Claire clearly have a love that defies logic and will stand the test of time. But most couples who are apart for as long as they were have to not only learn everything about each other all over again but rarely are able to find that same spark they originally had together. Yet, Jamie and Claire fall back and sink effortlessly. While it is satisfying to watch two people in love still have that unconditional love for each other no matter their circumstances, it is very rare for that to be an actual reality. 2. Jamie finding Claire when she went missing in Jamaica in Season 3, Claire and Jamie find themselves in Jamaica, trying to find young Ian after he was taken by pirates. At some point, though, Claire gets separated from Jamie after helping another ship that was infested with disease. She does eventually escape them after they refuse to let her go back to Jamie, but eventually, she ends up on a remote island far away from Jamie and his ship. Somehow, though, Jamie and his crew land on the same island after their ship crashes there, and he finds Claire after she was gone through harrowing experiences. Some may say it's luck, but some could say it's highly coincidental that he'd happen upon her there. 1. They never have an easy day. Any Outlander fan could tell you that the Frasers rarely have a day filled with sunshine and laughter. They may have rare moments of happiness but there is typically drama and danger always lurking around the corner, waiting to find them. It seems that no matter what the couple tries to do to have a simpler, happier life together, trouble always finds them and results in tragedy and mayhem. So why is it that this incredible couple can't just sit back and enjoy each other without something always coming to ruin their day?